Welcome back to Sluffbox. I'm Lyndon Dixon, and as usual, this video is brought to you by the Excelsior Sporting Club. Today, we're joined again by top female prospect Emma Dolan. Emma, how are you getting on? Good, thank you. How are you? Yeah, not too bad. Last time we spoke was, um, I think, a couple months after, or a couple of weeks after, actually. You won that first belt, the beautiful Commonwealth title. Um, now it's a few months down the line. How how are you feeling after you got it? Um, it's one of them where I've got it now and I want to use that to my advantage and push forwards. Mm. But yeah, it was great. Well, you've got some huge news that you announced this week. So tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, he announced your fight on the uh, GBM card. Myself and Nicola Hopewell are going to go out it for the title. It's a fight that I wanted. I wanted the fight for a little while now. So I'm pleased that it's come come to head and we're going to get cracking with it. Mm. That's the thing. It's your first defence of that belt, but it's not against no slouch. It's against a 3 no fighter in Nicola Hopewell. What, what do you expect from her? Uh, I expect a high work rate, especially for the, probably the first four or five rounds of the fight. Um, I think the pace will get to her a bit then and feel like I'll come on top a bit more. Um, Nicola's a good girl. You know, I've watched bits of her fights and that, and, you know, and I know sort of what she brings to the table. She brings a high enough work rate. You know, she won't be deterred straight away. You know, she's quite tough, but um, I feel like I've got a bit too much for her. Well, the thing is that you last fought in March, so by the time October comes, I'm sure your knuckles will be itching to get in there. How does it feel to like finally get it over the line? Yeah, both in. I mean, truth with you, the fight was supposed to happen in July mm -hmm. and the um, card, for whatever reason, didn't come to a head with another sort of promoter. Um, so, kept the belief, kept the faith and uh, yeah, both in, that's funny here. Mm. Well, providing you get the win, and um, I'm sure you've you're in full belief you will, you know. But um, what's next? Because I know how ambitious you are, and I know, like you like you said, you want to use that belt to your advantage. Providing you get the win, what comes next? All eyes are on Nicola Hopewell at the minute. I'm not overlooking her at all. But I recently see uh, Lauren Parker's fight for the European title, and providing she gets through that, I'd love to get on with her. Mm. Obviously, if I can get. Through with Nicola, which I believe I will, and she gets through her fight um, against the Italian, which I believe she will. Um, I'd love to get that showdown on. That's a great fight, you and Lauren Parker. Like when, like you say, providing you both get through them, when could we see that? Could we see that early next year? Yeah, early next year. I want to be as active as possible. You know, I'll be fighting three times a year, so I'd love to do it January, February next year. Mm. Well, um, moving on from what's next and stuff like that. I just want to talk to you a bit like about your ambitions in the sport because the thing is a lot of boxers get into the sport and the journey just sort of takes them to all sorts of crazy places. But like when's all said and done, what do you hope to have gotten from the sport? I want to be the best fighter I can possibly be in myself. You know, mm. loads of people are going to go on to achieve different kinds of things. That's going to mean different things to them. I believe I'll be world champion. And I'll be a bit disappointed if I don't achieve that goal in my time. I'm sure I'll leave the sport being world champion, but I just want to be the best kind of fighter I can be by the time I leave the sport. Mm. Well, talking of ambition, a little question I've been asking people recently, and it sounds a bit cliche, but I get different answers every time. What is your dream venue? A dream venue? Mm. That's a hard one, because you'd think like Norwich City Football Ground and, yeah. you know, Home support, and I think that is to a to a touch. But you'd need like a good a good card on there to lift it, sort of thing. But I don't know. It's nowhere that like I mean Madison Square Garden because it's. I'm happy to fight anywhere. It's nowhere <laughs> really. I mean. Yeah. Well, um, it's weird because I was looking through what we spoke about last time, and just before. We, when we last spoke, it was just before the Taylor Cameron fight. Well, obviously, Cameron won and she outboxed Katie for most of the fight. How do you yeah. see the rematch going? Because, again, when I've spoken to people in the recent weeks, they've said that they can't see Taylor winning. I just wonder, no, what's your point yeah. of view? From being like a big fan of Katie Taylor's, and I, I wanted her to win the first fight, hmm. I just don't. I can't see how she can adapt to be Cameron. I think Cameron's a bit too big for her, a bit too strong for her. You know, and Katie's been in some hell of a fight, you know, 
personally, I'd like to see her sort of call it a day, not just because she lost, just because yeah. she's getting towards her career now and she's been in some really hard fights. But uh, I, I I think it'd be a similar similar performance, if not maybe a stoppage with Cameron this time around because she was so dominant in that first fight. Mm. Well, um, who is who is the best female boxer on the planet at the minute? Is Cameron is Cameron's name in the hat for that? Yeah, got to be, hasn't it? Yeah, you've got to put Cameron up there. You've got to put Carisha Shields up there. Uh, yeah, them two. It's got to be between mm. them two. Yeah, everybody fits, and like you know, there's loads of. Good, I mean, Caroline was on the climb now, isn't she? And yeah. Ellie Scott been in the world. Or you know, there's loads of fighters in the mix, but. I think it's got to be pound for pound between Cameron and uh, Cameron and uh, Clarissa Shields. Mm. Well, um, the last question, as always, it's a pleasure to chat to you. But I was just wondering, where do you see yourself come the end of the year? You've got that fight in October, and you say, providing Parker gets through hers, we could see it that in January, February. But where do you see yourself come the end of the year? What have you done? Yeah, I'll be six and zero. I'll be Commonwealth champion, and I'll be getting ready to sign hopefully a big payday for a European title shot. From Parker, so mm. that's what. Well, yeah, that sounds perfect. But um, <laughs> anyway, like I said, it has been a pleasure. I've been Lyndon Dixon, she's been Emma Dolan, and we will see you on the next one.